Hello and welcome to our podcast, The Global Smart Cities. Today, our guest is Mr. Andrea Patia, Chief Executive Officer of Fireware Foundation. Hello, Mr. An- Andrea. Hello, Sam. Thank you for having me. We're so happy for having you. Uh, Mr. Andrea, with the rapid uh, evaluation of technology, uh, what recent innovations in smart cities uh, technologies uh, do you find most promising uh, in enhancing urban living and sustainability? Thank you. It's an interesting question. Um, there are always two types of sustainability that we have to take into account and consider for the time being. One is the operational sustainability, the one you measure with KPIs, with technology, with services. And the other one is the more um, systemic sustainability, the human beings, the value and the value that technology adds to uh, the well-being of the human beings. Um, we are, so having said that, um, I believe that the technologies that we are fostering here at the Zedaya Smart City Forum and uh, uh, all the technology vendors and the stakeholders that here are discussing the value and the quality of the technology for smart cities and human beings are um, various, various. We are talking about digital transformation, we are talking about data sharing, we are talking about services for people. In all the technologies, they come together to provide, uh, to give support to the operational sustainability, and of course, at the end, to to uh, create a better life for for human yeah. beings. Um, I would like also to add uh, my two cents in this: <clears throat> the new era of technology for smart cities uh, fits into the concept of digital transformation, which is something that Fiber fosters together with its uh, members and its ecosystem. Digital transformation is not easy because it's always about uh, changing something for for uh, better purposes. So um, it's always about um, building a new comfort zone for for the people, which means um, uh, giving them the tools that they can understand and can use. Um, it's also about the second pillar is um, the resistance to change. People are usually comfortable with their comfort zone, with their routine. Adding uh, new values through technology to a smart city means also asking the people to adapt. Indeed for a good cause, but that takes time. And last but not least is the technical debt. Technologies also require technical people, companies, to uh, set them up in order then to those technology be utilized by the end users, which are at the end, the citizens. So yeah. I believe Zedaya is doing this uh, brilliantly. Implementing the smart city technologies often face uh, challenges, including infrastructure uh, constraints uh, or, and public acceptance. Uh, how can cities overcome uh, the, these challenges to successfully uh, integrate and leverage the potential of smart uh, technologies. Thank you for the question, Sam. Mm, it is indeed an interesting question. Um, there is a lot of discussion going on uh, also in, in Europe uh, and around the world uh, about how to properly leverage AI, how to make sure the data are shared, but in according with um, or adhering to the principle and the restrictions of GPDR, for example, so the privacy. Um, I believe technology can easily adapt to the needs of each and every city in each and every country. It is, is important also that a central solution is adopted and then that solution to be scaled to the cities like the, the Saudi Arabian government is doing. Uh, that fits the purpose of having one solution, but that also fits the purpose of um, give flexibility to the cities based on you know, the systemic sust- uh, sustainability, which means uh, habits, you know, uh, needs for access to different services. Um, and so uh, to, to give you a straight answer to your question, um, we are here today also, Fireware with its ecosystem, um, to 
give Zedaya and the government of Saudi Arabia to create a solution out of several technologies. A solution that makes sense, that scales, but also that offer reliability and data protection to the government of Saudi Arabia. Uh, the more data are shared, the higher the quality of the services will come. Um, the more integration will be between cities and services with the central government, the easier it's going and all the faster the services will be provided. Could you please uh, explain how you are contributing to the digital uh, transformation of cities? And uh, can you provide an examples of successful uh, implementations and, and their impact? Of course. Thank you for the question, Sam. Fiware Foundation uh, provides the de facto standard adopted and acknowledged at the global level for smart cities. Um, the Fiware portfolio indeed covers lots more. We are definitely, again, the de facto standard for smart cities. This means we are able to support the smart cities in sharing data, integrating services, and provide scalable and consistent and secured solutions to the citizens. Um, Fiware has um, an outreach that we can define global. We are in Japan with several cities. We are in India, talking about uh, Asia. Um, we are uh, with our gold member in Medina uh, mm -hmm. as a city. Um, we have several cities in Europe. We are contributing to the adoption of the technology and the well-being also, not just, just in smart cities, but also agri-food in Africa, uh, together with World Bank. Uh, and last but not least, we are um, with the government of Colombia uh, and several other cities across Latin America and the west coast of North America. As we are here in the forum of uh, the global smart cities, uh, while most of leaders in technology are here in Riyadh, uh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, how have you seen this uh, forum? Thank you for the question, Sam. This forum is a brilliant opportunity for the kingdom, kingdom to improve, to adopt more technologies, mm -hmm. to provide better services and a better life to, to its inhabitants. Um, if I think of the last two days, mm -hmm. I have seen a lot of um, interaction. And that means that the topics brought by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to its participants and the technology vendors are valuable. Mm. are kind of broad no? and then can cover different areas and verticals. So this is not just about smart city. This is about how technology can give value uh, and improve the life of human beings. So in my, in my opinion, uh, this uh, event is definitely a big, big success. And I look forward to the next one. Oh, we wish that. Thank you, Mr. Andrea. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure, our is mine. Thank you for listening to our episode with Mr. Andrea Patilla, Chief Executive Officer of Fireware Foundation.